We are leaving our kitchen and exploring the streets of Melbourne to satisfy our food cravings. Today, we're craving fried chicken. But there's more than one way to fry up some bird. So we're comparing four different styles from our favorite places. Let's eat. First up, Korean fried chicken from Gami Chicken and Beer. Gami can be credited for bringing Korean fried chicken and beer culture to Melbourne. It opened its first restaurant in Carnegie in 2006 and its first in the CBD in 2009. There is now a proliferation of Korean chicken and beer joints all over the place, but Gami has remained our favorite. Korean fried chicken is slightly coated and have thinner, crisper outer coating. It can be enjoyed plain or tossed in a choice of sauces. Our preference is plain with two sauces on the sides. For a pro move, try combining the soy garlic sauce and the spicy sauce. They also have their own beer on tap which pairs with chicken perfectly. Next stop is Bell's Hot Chicken. Bell's has come a long way from its first shop in Fitzroy with a cult following to having multiple branches in Melbourne and Sydney. They serve Nashville-style hot chicken, which is marinated in buttermilk, breaded, deep-fried, and topped off with oil and cayenne pepper. It is traditionally served in a slice of white bread and some pickles. We also order some ranch dipping sauce for a bit of relief from the heat. The place also has a nice American diner vibe, with vinyl friendly music, and a good selection of craft beers. Next, we head to Tupac in Swanston Street for some Taiwanese fried chicken. Tupac is the largest fried chicken chain in Taiwan and has opened its first Melbourne store in 2016. If you are unfamiliar, Taiwanese fried chicken is about the size of a chicken schnitzel. It is firstly marinated in a Chinese wine and five spice mixture battered, dusted, and then deep-fried. As this is a takeaway-only joint, we decided to have a picnic at the Melbourne Library. Compared to the famous Hot Star XL Chicken, the chicken here is very well marinated, slightly sweet, and the batter is always well cooked. Lastly, we order Red Rooster's Fried Chicken for takeaway. Red Rooster introduced fried chicken to their menu in 2020 and has gained popularity within the Australian Filipino community for being the closest thing we can get to a chicken joy. We think this is better enjoyed at home so you can have it exactly how you like it. For us, we add a bit of our homemade chili oil to the gravy and serve it with steamed rice. You can also enjoy it with beer or champagne. Craving satisfied. Have you tried all of these? Which one is your favorite? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Till the next food quest, happy eating!